Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have an interesting project today. These are what's left of edge catchers after much use. And these are the two I've cut. I can't use this one because it's got a little bit of a bend in it. But um, these are also edge catchers. And what I've done is obvious. I've cut them up into squares. I have 14 by 14 inch canvas. I have one spare. I probably should have had a couple more spares than one. And over here, that's what I'm going to be working with. And I've been smart enough to realize that, oop, I lost one. Ah, oh well, that's not good. There it is, I got it. I've been smart enough to realize that they don't go point to point. And so it would be very much better for my sake if I have this to look at and use a different canvas when I go to place my squares. So what I'm going to do is give myself a little bit of background color or a lot of background color and do what I usually do, which is fun for me, and add a layer of color. I think I want some gold in there too. Not sure how that's going to work, but I guess we'll find out. I need the background to be heavy enough to stick the tiles down on. I have never done exactly this before. My intention is to try to have that background be heavy. And I don't mind if I have some cells. I'm not going to over swipe this with my spatula. If I need more of something, I'm going to put it in there right now. I'm probably going to black my edges tomorrow. Probably not now. And I'm going to try and trust my instincts. Make sure that I don't have any canvas showing. Pounce around the edge of that. Got a little bit falling down. And start. Is it enough? I don't know. I think I'm going to give myself a little more black. Just because I can. That's the name of my first book on the Amazon link, under the link tree link. And maybe we'll just let that go here and there. Floetrol is part of my recipe and Floetrol will flatten out. So I'm going to just go for this. And they may or may not show up, obviously. I guess I should have chosen white. I'm going to go from each corner. I suspect it'll still look pretty cool. And I definitely have a heavy enough layer of paint. I'm going to try to place them one time. Ha! Huh. And I'll go back afterwards and give them a bit of a squish. And I expect they'll start to look cool in a second. Oh, gosh, I hope so. So far, so good. Definitely could have used some white in the background. More white. Live and learn. So it's my first try. I might even have been able to use that uh, that one that I thought has a, had a bump in it that I couldn't use just because I don't want any any canvas showing. I could probably dip them into the heavier spots and make that work out. I do expect the heavier spots to sort of level out. And it occurs to me I could probably swipe them <laughs> with the cards I'm sticking down. And some of them have a little bit of clear acetate showing, so I don't mind if the colors come up. I kind of want to snag some of that right there before I come over here. There were some really pretty backs on these. So this is basically just... Um, parquet or mosaic or whatever you want to call it. 
as we fit our pieces in. It did take me onwards to 20 minutes at least to cut them up. Not sure that's good. That's gold on gold, but it's still a square, so I'm not unhappy. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression and Start Studio Gallery. And I'm going to have to make an exhibition video pretty quick like I have over at Expression to Start Studio Gallery Priscilla Batsell YouTube channel. And uh, I'll have to include the dried result in this. Hopefully I have all my pieces. Kind of doesn't look like it, but I bet they're, but they're here. So that's kind of cool and very different and um, can probably be improved on. But uh, white background next time. Better idea. Oh, that's hard to make up my mind. Let's see, which one's going to show better? I think the green. Got some cute little cells happening back there. And that is all that she wrote for that, with the exception of the fact that I have some paint on my spatula. I'm going to look for any little bits of canvas I happen to see. And I might indulge myself in using my skewer. Pick up steel, <laughs> pick up some paint, let it go over the edges because I can. I did, I do think I used enough paint. I kind of want to squish that down there because that looks like a lot of black right there. I'm not minding changing my backgrounds a little bit. Might as well, right? I'm right here. see that little bit of canvas. It's busy, but it's cool. And it's a first. I forgive myself for first. I know you'll forgive me too. If it's not exactly the best, it's also not the worst because we haven't gone there yet. I am just moving whatever I can with my skewer along the edge. Steal some of that. Put it right there. I could probably just go right along and do the black edges pretty soon. Yes, now I'm just messing with the background, which actually makes me kind of happy. Make sure you don't leave any canvas exposed. Although I suppose if you wanted to, you could, because it's definitely primed. We start with primed canvas. So that's not bad. I don't like that black, that, excuse me, that white dot there. I'm just going to mute it, dumb it down a little bit. Same with that white edge right there. Blend things a little bit, maybe steal a little bit more paint. So definitely check for the link tree under the video. If you're on Expression to Start Studio Gallery, Priscilla Batsell, you can find 1,310 videos or more in created playlists. You can usually almost always, wow, there's a lot of paint there. You can usually almost always find tomorrow's videos posted on the community board. If you're interested in becoming a patron or donating to help keep the studio making art and videos, PayPal and Patreon icons are on the channel header and also on the link tree. I'm just going to keep stealing paint and putting it on little places that it looks like I can cover my edges with because that it's better if I have mixed paint on my edges than if I have just black, but I don't think it man matters so much with a first. But I do love how you can get a little roll of paint and just sort of nurse it right down and it covers so beautifully where you use it with a skewer. And now I'm just fussing. So I should tell you I would I really appreciate it when you guys like my videos. Said I wanted more white. Why don't I just try that? I think that's gonna happen.
I didn't know it was going to happen, but it's going to happen. If I have enough time, I'm pretty sure. And if I don't, I'll tell you now that I'll see you guys anon. I like the idea of a marbled, it's sort of more like some sort of game board to me now. And the white will often pop cells. Not that I don't have some nice cells in the black with the gold too, because I definitely do. It's different. I missed one, didn't I? Let's grab some white from up there. So edge catcher checks. I love the... It's the neon purple from Folk Art. It's multi-surface. It will probably dry darker, but for right now I get to enjoy how bright and cheerful it is. I hope you guys are all taking care of each other and yourselves. I will give classes at the house in Spring Hill again when uh, the current interesting conditions are over, I hope. If you haven't visited Phoenix Rising Priscilla Batzell Art, that's my other channel. And if you happen to be there and you're not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Yeah, I like that little extra bit of white. It's a white pearl. It's a white metallic, rather from Manitas and I use it for a lot of things because it doesn't swallow stuff the same thing same way that a uh, one of the other whites does so yeah I like that little bit more contrast that unifies the squares in between whatever I haven't told you you'll find in another video I'm sure I should have kept myself out of crib sheet and I didn't I'll be co covering my edges for a while and there's no way even if these are not pressed down all the way there's no way that you can peel them up tomorrow. I am quite certain of that. Having attempted to peel apart edge catchers for a long time now, it actually is work. And I wasn't trying to stick them to anything. So everything has had a last push through. And that's what we've got. And it's uh, definitely a crazy quilt. And I love you guys. There's 86,500 of you nearly on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Priscilla Batzell. And there's almost 400 of you, woo, on Phoenix Rising Priscilla Batzell Art. And I hope to see you guys again. Don't forget to watch my playlists. If you feel like binge watching, I will encourage you. If you have questions, please feel free to just ask. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I will be covering my edges for a little while. This is cool. I love you guys. I'll see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.